Welcome to my videos on my, the first of my video on O level physics. I'm going to talk about physical quantities in this video. Physical quantities. Now, physical quantity is something that we can measure in physics. Uh, so the easiest thing to do would be to take a look at, su at some examples like length, length, time, mass, temperature, temperature, and these are some of the things that that are familiar to us in everyday life. For example, if we if we talk about length, it can be the length of uh, some objects say uh, uh, it can be the height of a person it can be the height of a person and that's something that we can we can measure now it may or may, may not be easy to measure physical quantity but the um, if, if we if you think about what measurement means it allows us to compare say uh, uh, a bigger quantity with a smaller quantity and it allows us to know exactly how big a quantity is once we, we have measured it once, once we know the value so for example for example um, we can measure this person's height with a ruler so let's say we, we take a, a ruler and measure that the person, this person's height is 110 cm, one, 110 centimeters, and I measure another person's height, and we find that this other person's height is 160 centimeters. So these numbers here, these numbers here, tell us the height of the persons, and notice that there is this symbol next to the numbers in the, in this case centimeter now centimeter is a unit is a unit so from this example alone we have already seen two important things about uh, a physical quantity a physical quantity consists of a number a number and a unit so a number and a unit and both are equally important and for the same type of physical quantity like length we can have different types of units so it doesn't have to be just centimeters it can be um, for example meters or inches or kilometers and so on right, of course we wouldn't use kilometers for the height a person and I'll talk about more about this uh, this issue uh, in another video so just to look at um, another example for example time like time is another physical quantity that that we can measure so for example we might be interested in let's say uh, uh, today you need to you need to go to school you you might you might walk to school or you might take a bus okay let's say you, you take a bus and, and there are lots of other people in the bus and, and, and the bus goes to your school and tra with traffic jam and all, all those other things okay let's say it, it it takes 45 minutes to get to your school okay 45 minutes so the 45 minutes would be your the time that it takes to go to your school so we, we say that the 45 minutes is a physical quantity so that you, you, you notice that again there is a number and a unit and you have to say what the unit is because otherwise um, the unit could equally well be uh, for example you, you could have seconds or, or hours or days you know, these are possible units that you can use for time but but if you say 45 days it means something quite different from 45 minutes 
so as another example uh, a mass so if you want to measure for example if you, if you want to measure your own mass you would stand on the weighing on the weighing machine and the weighing machine uh, depending on the kind of weighing machine whether it's, a, it's the old type with, with a spring and a dial or, or, or the new type with some digital scale electronic digital scale it might tell you maybe a, a 51.5 uh, kilogram for example and, and uh, a bigger person or a or, or big adult might weigh say 90.3 kilogram okay so uh, in this way all right using using this weighing scale okay, it's, it's a weighing scale or weighing machine we can we can measure the mass uh, when it's actually the weight, but we'll talk about the difference between weight and mass later on. But I'll, ju I'll just call this the mass. All right, the kg is the proper units for mass. So, and, and you, as you can see, we have the same same features here. Mass is a physical quantity, and uh, once you've measured it, you will get a number. You get a number, and you get, and we have to have a unit to tell us. Um, actually what that number means like 90 you, you can't just say 90.3 is the mass because 90.3 what it can be the the units of mass for example uh, can be depending on which country you're in or which uh, time of history you're at it can be grams or or, or ounces or pounds uh, or tons all right, but we pr we would probably use tons for for an elephant rather than than for a person. So these are the possible uh, uh, things. Now, but what is something that is not a physical quantity? All right, what what is not a, a physical quantity? Well, for a start, the I if I uh, go back to what I mentioned just now, the f the purpose of physical quantity, um, it is. Uh, something that allows us to compare between different quantities like different lengths it allows us to know which which object is longer or which person is taller and it also gives us a number that allows us to know exactly how much is that quantity so if you say 110 cm I all I need is to take, is to take a measuring tape and and I can I can work out uh, or, or, or make out exactly how long is 110 centimeters so you if that's rather than if you just say uh, the person is short or the person is tall all right you you wouldn't actually know if you just say a person is short exactly how short he is now but that there, there are other quantities that are not physical quantities for example uh, you can talk about um, a happiness okay. happiness well you can kind of perhaps compare happiness uh, what someone might feel happier today and feel less happy tomorrow but there isn't actually a number that you can use to tell how how happy you are um, so if if you say uh, that your happiness is uh, five you have five units of happiness today and you you have tomorrow you have seven units of happiness all right you might try and say that but i don't think it's actually possible to to make an instrument where, where, where you can measure yourself each day and know exactly how many units of happiness you have today uh, unlike you know the the weighing scale where you can just stand on it every morning and and look at your own weight